Hi, I'm Audrey, Product Manager for Walker Emissions Control. And I'm James, Technical Product Specialist. James, let's talk about the exhaust system and why it's so important. The exhaust system not only reduces engine sound level, but it also maintains engine performance. It reduces harmful emissions and it carries the exhaust gases safely to the rear of the vehicle. That's exactly right. And when looking for signs of premature exhaust failure, it's important to carefully follow the proper inspection protocol on these complex systems. So we wanna look for the obvious, look for exhaust leaks. These can be visible, they can be audible, but you may have to use a smoke detector to pinpoint that leak. Also, when checking for leaks, make sure you check inside the cabin of the vehicle to see if there's any exhaust gas smell. While inspecting the exhaust, you wanna check the welds. You're gonna look for any deterioration or breakage in the welds. You're also gonna look for any corrosion damage that may be on the welds. And then of course, you're gonna inspect and replace any worn hangers or rubber isolators. While inspecting the exhaust, look for any loose damage or missing parts. Check the flex pipe if the vehicle has one. It's a common area where there's failure. And then checking the vehicle, you can also look for blockage in the system by performing an engine vacuum or back pressure test. And don't forget to inspect the catalytic converter along the way. Remember, converters don't fail on their own. It's important to make all exhaust system repairs prior to installing a new converter. If you don't fix the root cause, it will likely cause the new converter to wear prematurely. That's a very good point. Now, before we replace a catalytic converter on a vehicle, there's a few things that we can check. So first, we wanna check the vehicle for any trouble codes. We wanna retrieve those and make any repairs related to those trouble codes. We wanna check for any TSBs on the vehicle or any updates to the PCM and have that performed as well. Next thing that we wanna do is check and make sure all exhaust leaks, if there are any, are repaired. After that point, we're gonna make sure that the vehicle's in proper fuel control. In order to do that, we wanna make sure the vehicle's at operating temperature we wanna ensure that the vehicle's in closed loop status, and then we wanna check our oxygen sensors. So on our front oxygen sensor, we typically wanna see it fluctuate in a range of 450 millivolts. And then on our rear oxygen sensor, we wanna see it a little higher. So it should be in the realm of 650 to 850 millivolts in a normal operating condition. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that there's no contamination. So we wanna check the exhaust, make sure there's no fluids, any coolant that could be getting into the exhaust causing premature wear or failure. Now, when we get to the point of replacing the converter, if it needs to be replaced, it's very important that we select the right one. And in order to do that, you wanna reference the Walker e-catalog to ensure that you're selecting the correct converter for your state's emission regulations and the vehicle's emission certification. For additional information on diagnosing exhaust systems, visit walkerexhaust.com.